right, well, hello once again. It is always such a pleasure to be able to join you today just with a daily devotion. If you're new here to this channel, really what we're gonna be doing is just I'm gonna be having you walk with me and we'll just be walking together through just scripture together and what God is showing me and I'm just gonna share with you what God is opening up in my heart and inside of his word to me. So today we are going to be in Jonah chapter three and we're gonna be looking at verse four. So let me go ahead and read it for you as always and then I'm gonna kind of open up and discuss a little bit what God poured on me over this. So in Jonah chapter three, verse four, it goes like this. Jonah began to go into the city Go in a day's journey, and he called out, Yet forty days, and Nineveh shall be overthrown. <laughs> I actually heard a, a message of kind of about this little verse here not too long ago. And one of the key things I remember hearing from this was it was talking about Jonah's message was only five words. Now, if you try to look into the English, yes, it's more than five words, but if you really look at the Hebrew, the words that Jonah said, he only spoke five words when he went into Nineveh and started spreading the message that God gave him. It was only five words. And those five words, there wasn't anything about repent, turn to God. Even God wasn't even in those five words. But what was God able to do with those five words of a very reluctant prophet, an entire city was saved. An entire city from the poorest of the poor to the king that was on the throne, the entire city had their eyes refocused and turned onto God. And God was able to relent from his destruction. So my big picture question that's gonna be for you is this, if God was able to save an entire city with the five words of a reluctant prophet, what do you think he can accomplish with an unashamed, devoted disciple? Okay, what do you think God could do with an entire church that is unified together in love for each other and love for the community outside the church? When we start thinking about this, when we start comparing what Jonah Jonah's story, five words from a reluctant prophet saved an entire city. When we start thinking about what stories can come out of an unashamed disciple, a unified church going together all in for Christ, the stories that would come out of that would be legendary. And so that's going to be my challenge to you. That's going to be my encouragement to you with this. Let's begin seeking out how we can follow Christ with this idea. Let's see. I'm encouraging you. When God gives you a message, share the message. When God tells you to go somewhere, just go somewhere. When God tells you to partner up with somebody, partner up with them. Listen to his lead. Because when we when we begin truly being this unashamed, devoted disciple that God is calling us to be, and we go where he tells us to go, we stay where he tells us to stay, we say what he tells us to stay, we be with who he calls us to be with, the stories are going to turn into legends because that's, that's what God can do with us. God can make something so beautiful out of somebody who is following him. And so I pray that you will just be listening to the encouragement that God's putting on your heart. If it's starting something, start it. If it's going somewhere, go. If it's mending a relationship, mend it. Because what we see in Jonah, God was able to do something so beautiful with so little. Let's see what he can do with someone who is just full on for him. I'm encouraging you today. Let's be seeking that out. So today I'm going to pray for you as always, and we're going to close out this devotion. So let's pray together. Father, I want to thank you so much for this time. Thank you for this opportunity to share this message. Lord, I pray that you give us the courage to step up and step out and follow you. You've shown us in Jonah that you can do so much with so little, but what if we offered you everything that we have? I just pray, Lord, that you encourage us and remind us that you 
can make something so beautiful out of our offerings to you. We love you and we thank you. In your name I pray. Amen. Hey guys, as always, know Jesus loves you and thanks for watching. See ya.